Tonight, former President Donald Trump made his first appearance since the attempt on his life at his rally on Saturday. He arrived at the Republican National Convention tonight with a bandage over his ear where he was shot. Donald Trump is now the Republican nominee for president. The party made it official today at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee after Trump secured enough delegates. He hit the necessary threshold with votes from his home state of Florida. Trump is scheduled to formally accept his nomination at the RNC on Thursday. He is reportedly rewriting that speech to focus more on a message of unity following the attempt on his life. First -term Tonight, Senator Donald Trump has his running mate. He picked Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. 39-year-old was elected to the Senate in 2022 after a career in the military in Silicon Valley. Vance is a former Trump critic who once said that Trump might be America's Hitler and who said that anyone who voted for Trump is an idiot. As Trump rose to power, Vance became one of his biggest defenders, echoing his populist MAGA message. Tomorrow, flags will fly at half-staff in Colorado to honor the man who was shot and killed at the Trump rally Saturday. 50-year-old Corey Compertore, volunteer firefighter and father of two, died during the attempted assassination on Trump. The two men who were hurt in the shooting, other than Trump, are in critical condition tonight. We know one of those men, 57-year-old David Dutch, is a Marine. He's had two surgeries after being shot in the liver and in the chest. FBI is still working to figure out the shooter's motive. They say that they've accessed the 20-year-old gunman's phone, but that has not been of much help. Sources tell NBC News that the shooter's father called police after the attack, worried that his son and his rifle were missing. The Justice Department says it is going to appeal a federal judge's decision to dismiss the classified documents case against Donald Trump. The criminal case accused Trump of keeping hundreds of classified documents at his home in Mar-a-Lago after he left the White House, then trying to prevent the government from getting them back. The former president pleaded not guilty to those charges last summer. U.S. District Judge Eileen Cannon, who was appointed by Trump, ruled today that the appointment of the special counsel violates the appointments clause of the Constitution and threw out the case against Trump.